is St. James's Park. I think when you think of London, your first thought isn't automatically nature. <laughs> um, but actually, there are several uh, royal parks throughout the city where it is just full of nature. And one of which I am in right now, uh, St. James's Park, which is completely full of different species of geese and waterfowl and there is a lot here so I thought I would bring my camera and try and get some wildlife photography shots so that's what I'm doing. Um, as always I have my Canon EOS 80D with my Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens and I'm just going to <laughs> hello <laughs> just going to wander in the park and try and get as good shots as possible and hoping, I'm hoping that we will see the pelicans that live here. Um, they're, they're not native to the UK, but they were brought here in the 1600s as a gift from a Russian ambassador and they have lived here in St. James's Park ever since. So we're gonna head there and hopefully um, see if we can see some of those as well. Oh, so, oh, so geese. Oh, so. This little geese, goose. <laughs> is streaming. Why is it with me crying in recent videos? <laughs> if you were wondering why, look at all these people gathered here. There's a squirrel. It's for a squirrel. <laughs> I love it. But it's one grey squirrel and it has literally attracted a crowd of like 30 people. <laughs> uh. suffered a casualty. <laughs> uh, nailed down in some mud. Or I didn't realise it was mud to try and get a good shot and yep, that's what happened. <laughs> park is incredibly busy. Um, that's because in one direction we have Buckingham Palace and then in the other direction is, I don't know if that's the right way, but is Westminster and the London Eye. So we're right in the middle of kind of the epicenter of London tourism. Um, so it's pretty busy. <laughs> it's just been so funny. We'll be walking along and there'll be a big crowd at the fence and we're like, yep, there's a squirrel there. People are just obsessed with the squirrels. Just then they're just grey squirrels. <laughs> yeah, it's been very busy. It's so much so that I've been really nervous to vlog um, because of how busy it is. But, um, it's good that there's lots of people here enjoying the, the park and the nature and the tranquility here. Yeah. 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 
really hot all of a sudden. Um, I think what the only thing is with these um, kind of parks in you know populous cities and kind of big tourist areas is that you have a lot of um, people touching and feeding wildlife and they maybe shouldn't be doing that <laughs> and it's not like there's not signs or anything but we all know that people don't read signs <laughs> anyway <laughs> um so what i would just say to anybody watching is read the signs don't feed the wildlife and that's it <laughs> <laughs> in a vlog but I'm um, coming to areas like this where you have resident wildlife that are guaranteed to be there is always um, a really good way to practice your wildlife photography um, especially because in places like this the wildlife is very used to humans so you know you'll know where to find it it won't run away when you approach and um, you should be able to get um, good shots of it especially because a lot of the time it will be closer so you don't need one of the big massive lens super telephoto lenses um, which aren't great for beginners um, so yeah I think I've got some good shots <laughs> we'll see <laughs> when I get home I don't know if you can hear me over the helicopter. Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm quite happy with my shots today, um, which is like the first time I think I've ever walked away from a shoot and you know been really, really happy with what I've taken. Um, oh, it's done. Um, but this is when I go home and put them on my laptop to edit them, and I'm like, oh, they're horrible. <laughs> anyway, see you soon. loud <laughs> anyway um, I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog here um, so I'll just say thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will maybe see you next time Bye.